Here we got a 1970 Barracuda. It's like my favorite year for Barracudas. Um, all blacked out on the top there. <laughs> I'm almost thinking about doing that a little bit on my old Camino, but I don't know. Because I laid tools up there. Um, it's got the uh, yellow with the black. And this is a nice, it's an AIA Arcuda. So that's a 340. The 340 back then in the 70 was different from the standard on the AIA Arcuda because it had different heads. It was ported different, bigger valves, different cam, different uh, valve springs and stuff. I, I, they just should have made all of them like that, to tell you the truth. You know, I don't know why you just... You know, sometimes these bean counters are kind of stupid, you know, they just, you know, if they got something really good, they always just throw it in every damn thing, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> it's hard to find a 340 AAR uh, CUDA motor, because the 340 and the AAR CUDA was a lot different than the standard 340. Now, you can make the standard 340 like that, but I'm not sure even the bottom end was a little different. So, see the rain coming down. Pipes coming out the side in front of the wheels. Uh, but you know this this car with the small block handled better than with the big block. A lot of people say, "Oh, it went to 440," but it handled a lot better. And it still had a load of horsepower. It's a quick car with the Cuda, 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 Cuda. You got your uh, driving lights in the front, hood pins. Just love those hood pins. And uh, you know, fresh air intake in there. All right. With the uh, the back, you know, that's what you always want. You want if the fresh air intake's coming in here, you want something where the air can escape to allow the flow to go through. So a lot of times, you know, the Chevy cow hood actually pulled in a lot more air. A lot of people said sometimes it would just cut a hole in the hood and put a aftermarket scoop on there. But you had to have a way to relieve the pressure in the back where it would come out. So if you put an aftermarket scoop, scoop on something and it was sealed in the back with a seal, you, you really weren't getting more air. You know, a lot of people didn't realize that when they're doing a lot of the homemade stuff, you know, which I got on against, but, you know, people thought it was going faster, but they didn't, it probably wasn't. You got to have that, you got to have that in the back of the scoop where it uh, lets the air out, you know, back of the hood, so it lets the air out. So you got intake and exhaust for, you know, fresh air into the carb, right? I always like these seats too. The seats improved greatly in, um, you know, 70. Actually, Chrysler and Mopar is still really started coming in its, in its own in uh, 68, 69, 70. 67, I don't like a lot of styling on Chrysler's. And the Cudas, I don't like the 69 much. 70, 71, yeah. They're always a little bit late, but they, when they come out with something a little bit late, they're better. Yeah, you know, I was saying is the Chrysler comes out a little bit later than the other two, you know, Ford and Chevy, uh, GM, but they seem to come out with a, more stuff that's better, you know, like the torsion bar suspension and stuff is like much better on this. They have better brakes on these things, better transmissions, because 727s, the torque flights were in all the Chryslers for the automatics, you know, you, it would be a serious upgrade on a Chevy GM to get a Turbo 400. But like I said, the styling really improved, like with 68 Charger and the 70. Barracuda, 70 Challenger, 67 Chrysler. I don't really think it was too much in selling that much. It wasn't. It's getting better, but I don't think I think they're behind GM. But then when they got, you know, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, they really I think they were ahead of everybody else. <laughs>